to begin, let's start with something very simple, which is to um, create a program that chooses a sound file to play back um, randomly. Okay, so in order to play, to choose the files that the SF play object will play, we're going to use a U menu object. A U menu object is um, a great user interface menu. It's a drop down menu that you can load uh, with really anything. We're going to load it with a folder of sound files. Okay, so you can just drag and drop. And now, at that middle inlet, when you click, you get the path for the file, which is lovely. So what we need is um, both the preload message, which we'll use, we'll go um, prepend preload. So prepend just means attach this message to the beginning of um, whatever is sent to it. We need an integer in between the preload and the um, file path. And in fact, we need unique integers for all of these different uh, files. So to get that, we're going to use an Uzi object, which um, sends out a number of bangs. I just happen to know that I have 23 files there. And now we need to get we need to join this together so that we have preload, an integer, and then the file path. It's worth noting, however, that SF Play um, reserves preload one, so you can't actually use preload one for anything. So in order to get around that, we'll just add one, and then we can subtract one here, and now we'll have values between two and 23, and that's perfect. Um, so now, we need to join these together. So we'll start with ZL join. The ZL objects, um, there are a bunch of different objects. You can go to the help file here. They're very useful for processing data. There's a whole bunch of different versions. ZL compare, ZL delays, and even more if you go to these different um, options. But for now, we're just going to use ZL join. We're going to use the middle inlet, and we're going to use the outlet the one here and now the only other thing that we have to realize is we need to do um, advance through this U menu um, as we go along now we just need to join the message coming out here um, with the preload message and we'll use We'll use prepend preload to do that. And we can print again just to make sure that we're getting what we expect. Yeah, okay. So we're getting the right messages, but now we need to send them to SF Play. And now all we need to do with this literature box is to, well, first we need to send the messages, okay? Now we should be able to type any integer and get some sound. I clicked start window first. Now there's a problem here. that we'll see and we'll deal with in the next video, which is that you can only play one sound at a time. So now we have these sound files loaded to all of these integers, and all we have to do is to create a random object to, um, to choose these from these various files. So the random object will choose a random integer between 0 and 23, not inclusive, so it won't choose 23. Um, but what, the range that we want, of course, is between 2 and 24. And we're going to seed it with any, any integer value. So seeding it just means that um, 
anytime you open this patch, you're actually going to get the same exact um, series of ran pseudo random numbers. And if you were to make a another random object and give it the same seed, it would end um, send bang simultaneously, you get the same values out of it. So you're essentially initializing that randomness, that pseudo random number generator. So why 23? Well, we have 23 over here, but of course, the integer values we want to generate are between 2 and 24 inclusive. The um, random number generator is going to choose a number randomly between 0 and 23, not inclusive of the 23. So it may choose 0, but it will not choose 23. It will choose um, only up to 22. So we can get around this by adding 2. And now the range is between 2 and 25, not inclusive. So it will choose a number. Um, between 2 and 24 inclusive, just as um, our range is over here. Because remember, the Uzi starts at 1. And then we need a bang to initialize our choice. Okay, so... Um, what we're going to do now is start the window. I already have the window And I'm going to just... See, every time I have it chooses a new object, or a new sound file to play. Of course, there are a lot of things that are less than ideal about this patch. Um, it's not quite, quite up to snuff. So, for instance, the SF play object will only play one sound at a time. So that's not ideal. And um, at the moment, I have to send a bang every single time I want a new object. So those are some things that we'll look at um, improving in a subsequent video.